Hi guys, Sean from Optics. So today we're gonna to look at the Vortex Razor HD Gen 2. So this one's been around a while and I'm not actually sure why we haven't managed to actually get a hold of this and just uh, give it a quick fire review. So this is a four and a half to 27 by 56. And recently it's taken a bit of a resurgence in sales. And I think it's solely down to the new price point that it's hitting. It's around the 2000 pound mark. And we're gonna run over the key features and see why this scope is still a firm favorite for shooters looking for top quality glass affordability and a warranty that really can't be beaten so we start from the eyepiece fast focus european style eyepiece as we see on most scopes these days we then move forward on to the four and a half to 27 times uh, magnification range which is um, quite easy to adjust here it's stiff but very rigid and will not fail you when you're in the field. The scope itself is extremely well built and probably one of the heaviest 34 mil scopes out there. And this has always been the thing with the Vortex Razor four and after 27. It's always been regarded as a heavy scope. But if you're not looking to use this as a crossover to do some hunting with, then there's no problem really with the weight. and. It is incredibly well built and this is why they can offer that superb warranty. We then move forward onto the 34 mil main tube. We've got 28 and a half mil rad of internal adjustment, which is about 100 MOA. Plenty of adju adjustment in there to go out to those long ranges. And remember, if you wanna go out further, just pair it with a set of adjustable rings or an MOA base and you'll easily get out there. We then go on to the illumination and the saddle and the side parallax. The illumination is quickly, easily um, displayed here by pulling out the turret on, uh, located on the side parallax. And we have a step in between each number and that simply is to allow the shooter to return back to his preferred illumination setting. We then move on to the side parallax. It's nice and smooth, not graunchy in any way. And it comes down to 32 yards, so even the air rifle boys can use this on their setups or they can use it for rim fires as well. So it comes down to their short ranges, not down to the, t the preferred 10 yards, but plenty low enough for most shooters. We then move forward onto, or move across onto the elevation drum. It is a locking turret and it's simply um, locked into position by pushing the turret down and pulling it up to engage the clicks. As you can see, very audible clicks and very positive. This is exactly what you want, especially for adding that repeatability when you are out in the field, you know exactly what click you're on and they are very positive. They've nailed these clicks, to be honest. You've got 10 mils per revolution on this Milrad turreted version and you've got a uh, return to zero setting and you've also got a zero stop. So you've got absolutely everything you need on this rifle scope and it's got counterclockwise clicks for adjusting the elevation. Again, the windage, we've got a lock-in turret and on the windage, it is marked left and right for ease when out in the field in those long days. We move forward onto the objective lens. It's a 56 mil objective. It's got top quality HD glass and it's Japanese made. You really get a superb picture with this scope. Brilliant resolution, brilliant clarity and easily up there with some of the best optics in the world and really for a price point that isn't mega bucks if you're really into your shooting so this is still one of the firm favorites for a lot of shooters out there it is first focal plane it comes with the choice of uh, three reticules you've got the ebr7 in milrad and moa and then you've got the ability to have a horace reticle in there now as well so they've expanded out the range of reticules. This scope is perfect for PRL, PRS style events, fast style uh, tactical shooting, and definitely for long range applications. So just to run over the features, top quality Japanese glass, you've got 34 mil main tube with 28 and a half mil rad of internal adjustment, which is about 100 MOA. You've got 32 yards minimum parallax, you've got a zero stop, you've got illumination, and you've got a bulletproof warranty. So if you want any further information on the Vortex range, 
If you like my t-shirt, this is on the website as well. This is the smoke inferred eye range. And we've got these all on the website, come in a range of different sizes. I would go a size up just because they fit slightly small. And if you want any more information on the Vortex, check out the rest of our videos and make sure we keep the content coming. See you later guys.